Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you some F2Ball tricks such as this one. Today's video is sponsored by, just kidding, it's not sponsored, but I wanted to shout out to my F2L algorithm sheet because I have finally made some new updates and there are tons of better algorithms there now. I think I first made this like three or four years ago and if you've never seen it, there's a link in the description and I'll talk more about this at the end of the video. This case looks really specific and hard to recognize, but I will be showing all of the ones where the edge is in the slot and flipped and the corner will be in one of the slots next to it, which makes it seem like this would be such a bad case to solve. Now, generally you shouldn't be picking out such hard cases like this and you should be going for easier cases instead if you can find them. However, I've noticed often in my solves, something like this is actually the first thing I see and it's really nice to have a solution in mind already. So for this case, what we do is sledgehammer, but insert an extra U move as the second move. So like this, and then U with your left hand, and then finish the sledge, and then insert this pair. The reason this algorithm works, you may notice it as being very similar to the solution for this, which is just the same thing without the U move. The reason is just because we're taking it out and canceling into the sledge. This one is a similar case, but this time the white of the corner is at the back. And what you would do here is take out the edge to set up into a different three mover. So you could take it out like this and set it up into this case, which if you've seen my other F12 tricks videos, you'll know it's done like this. And again, edge here, this time corner has white on the bottom. I don't actually know a clever trick for this one. I just have prepared what I would do and it's quite efficient. What I do is I take the corner out into the back like this and it puts them here. Now you can solve this in the normal way, which can be like this. And then insert. The finger tricks can be a bit difficult with the F moves. The way that I do it is after this part, I have my index finger already right here after the U prime. So this F prime move becomes very easy and then insert. But at this point, you could also use your right thumb for the F move and that works as well. All right, that covers the three corner orientations for if the corner is in the slot behind the edge. Now, if you got it from over here, then you would just do the same thing on the left side. So instead of showing you the mirrors, which are just the same thing, I'll be showing you it from here now, which is where the edge is here again in the right slot, but the corner is on the left front slot. So it's still beside the slots, but you're facing both of them. For this case with white on the front, you wanna do a left sledge, but before the last move, do U prime. And that puts the edge in just the right spot. And now you can insert them. How I do the finger tricks for this is for the F prime and then the U prime, I use index and middle finger and then F here and insert. If the white of the corner is on the side, you do a similar thing, but with the right sledge instead. So right sledge and before the final move, add U prime, and then that just pairs them up here, then insert. And finally, for white corner on the bottom, again, just like when it was over here, I'm not sure if this is the best way, but it's the way that I have prepared. And that's done by taking out this corner like this, and then solving this case from here, which can be done with this. And then insert the pair. There might be a better way, but this is hard to beat because it is only 10 moves as this L and M prime, you can cancel them together. And I just couldn't resist showing this one because it's so silly, but I do know another 10 move way to solve this case. I can't do it fast because um, it's kind of dumb, but here's what it is. You take out this edge, and then you take out this corner, and then you do this. That's also 10 moves. So there will be a link in the description to the F2L PDF. The sheet is broken down into three big sections. The first section is basic F2L, and to save space, I don't always include them here, but you should be able to mirror any of these algorithms between the front and the back. This won't always be true, but it will be true for algs that use U, L, and R only. Section two is where one of the pieces can be in the wrong slot, and this is what I call advanced F2L. I have a video just for advanced F2L. The basic idea is that when you take a piece out into the top, you wanna to make sure it immediately pairs with the other piece. Then there's section three, what I call expert F2L, and this is where you have two pieces that are both slotted. The actual number of possible cases is too high and they are way too hard to recognize, so I only include the ones here that are either easy to recognize or easy to solve. And I just wanna let you guys know for F2L, this algorithm right here, 
is my new favorite. When looking at this sheet, if you want to give any new cases or algorithms or corrections, then let me know in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.